days longer than expected now, and it's, it's pretty much awful. It's nothing new though, it's pretty routine. The weather in the Arctic is predictably erratic, so, which is why we have the resources for an extra month, minus three days. Only the new guys worried. Lucas? I think that might be more to do with all the paranormal activity, actually. If you want to be on camera, start a cookery show, Jack. Well, it's not ready for my secrets yet. Well, I think those secrets were discovered by prison chefs long ago. Mm. What Jack was attempting to communicate through his very intelligent use of sarcasm is that Lucas is kind of obsessed with ghost stories. He's been reading this book. I think it's called True Paranormal. Um, every day since we arrived. Well, everyone's got to have a hobby, I guess. Personally, I like watching the snow fall and wondering when the hell is going to stop so we can all go home. Hey, when do they say the weather's going to clear up? You've got to ask Lucas. He does tech and communications, remember? Yeah, well, remind me again what you're good for. I'm on it to the SAS levels, and yours are getting dangerously high. Funny. Can you check with Lucas? Yeah, sure. Hey, Bella? Yeah? Can you check the weather updates for the new guy? Hell no. He creeps me out. Oh, come on, Bella. He's not that bad. He doesn't eat the bread in his sandwiches. He just opens them up and eats the fillings. I can't trust someone like that. Go on, Bella. I'll make you a nice chicken sandwich when you get back. And you can eat it however you want. Fine, but this better be a goddamn good sandwich. <laughs> Lucas? Yeah? The guys wanted me to um, ask you about the weather. What about the weather would they like to know? Um, they just said, like, updates. What kind of updates do they want? Um, if anything has changed, I guess. If anything has changed? Yeah. You're going to have to be more specific. Um, Something has always changed. Uh... You didn't gather enough information before you talked to me, Bella. Do you believe in ghost stories? Ghost stories? Yes, ghost stories. No, not really. See, I've, um, I've read quite a few ghost stories, some of which are nonsensical pieces of fiction written by frauds. But sometimes I find a story which I think has some truth to it. One of which is about this very facility. Would you like to hear it? Um, well, I've got to go and tell the guy about the weather updates. You don't like ghost stories, then? Well, never mind. We get to hear it soon enough. I'm going to tell it to everyone. Just need to be sure of the facts first. So, it's been about a week since my last video vlog, and I'm dying here. All I want to do is get home, order a pizza, and look at something that isn't snow. The crew's getting a bit tetchy now, um, which is, is bound to happen when you're all stuck in the same place for three months. So, updates. Well, Jack has started using chalk to mark the days, and Bella spends most of the time in her room, I think. I think she's trying to avoid Lucas. She's a bit scared of him. I mean, I know he's a bit weird, but I don't think he could be dangerous or anything. Apparently he's going to tell us a ghost story tomorrow night, which it should be interesting, as he's finally put that book down and is gathering evidence or something. Um, anyway, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, the weather hasn't cleared up, and it looks, uh, it looks like we'll be eating mystery meat stew again, and probably again tomorrow. Speaking of unhygienic ingredients, Jack has asked me to help him in the kitchen, so I better go. Oh, of Meister Men, huh? Yes, my favourite memories of my school days are of studying it. <laughs> well. My favourite days of school were leaving it. They each their own, I guess. Did you study this book at school? Uh, yeah, I think I did. It was pretty good. It is my favourite book. You don't say. <laughs> Look, I've got to go help Jack in the kitchen. See you soon. No, 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 no. Please sit so we can have a discussion. I've got five minutes. What are the themes of this book? 
I'm sorry. I said, what are the themes of this book? Well, I'd say it was about the friendship of, importance of friendship in the world world. That's exactly what my teacher said. Well, you know what they say about great minds? My teacher was not a great mind, and neither are you. He thought that it was a book about friendship, about, but it's not. It's not about anything. It doesn't have themes. It's entertainment, like all books. Our entertainment is being able to watch these people struggling to get from one situation to another without any concern for our own personal safety. We get to watch their pain, their frustration, without experiencing any of it ourselves. That is the purest, most primal pleasure, and it's something that not many people understand. Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it, but it's not exactly why I'd, how I put it. Because you don't understand. Mm, no, because I don't agree. You didn't discuss the book. You just discussed yourself. You're not talking sense. I discussed the purpose of this book. For some people, the purpose of the book is a paperweight. Then those people are using it wrong. Um, well, I've got to go help Jack in the kitchen. Nice discussion, though. So you got a ghost story to tell us, Luke? It's Lucas, not Luke. Yeah, but Luke's nickname. Like, you know, Bella isn't really called Bella. Yes, I am. No, you're called Isabella, but Bella is your nickname. Yes, I have a story to tell you. It's a true story. Yeah, well, that's what they said at the start of Fargo, too. <laughs> it's a true story. Twenty years ago, they used to send prisoners down here as a punishment. You see? That's why Jack's food tastes like prison food. It's haunted. Shut up. Can you please shut up? Okay, good. Twenty years ago, they used to send prisoners down here as a punishment. Sometimes the wind would pick up, just like now. And once it got so bad, all the communications to the vicinity were cut off. Nobody was worried, because there's plenty of food. There were no guards, because when you're out here, well, you have nowhere to run. So, six months later, the snow cleared and the authorities arrived. It turns out, this facility didn't have enough food. And one had gone mad and eat, killed and eaten the others. So, was that, like, supposed to be scary? I'll show you how scary that story is. <sighs> Come on, Jack. That wasn't very nice. If you're going to tell me a ghost story, you better make me jump. <gasps> What's going on? Probably can't. Jack didn't see me. Ha 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 you're so funny. Mike! Hey Mikey. Hey guys. You missed the ghost story, man. Oh yeah, how was it? It was fine. What's wrong? Well, the generator in the second building is bust. Can you fix it? Sure thing, but I'll need Lucas to activate the backup heating, and I'll have it fixed for you guys in about an hour. Hey, that's great! Sure is. Look, I need to find Lucas. Do you know where he's at? Probably sulking in his office. Alright then, well I'll go and fix it up. Bye Mike. Adios amigo. Bye guys. Hey buddy, I'm in! How's that heating going? Yes, it takes a while to start up. Alright, pal. Just don't give me any frostbites. Sure thing, pal. Hey, uh, Lucas. It's pretty cold down here. Are you gonna get that heating going or what? Absolutely, my friend. You keep on working, and I'll have you warmed up in two ticks. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, how long is that gonna be? Oh, it should be about five minutes. Just hang in there. Yeah, okay, five minutes. I can do that. Just hang in. 
<laughs> okay, whatever you say, buddy. Look, Matt, I gotta get out of here. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't take this cold. Hey, friend, it looks like you're locked out. Say, I'm really sorry about that, buddy, but there's some, nothing I can do. The button for the doors is stuck. Well, look on the bright side, pal. They say that just before you freeze to death, your body begins to feel very warm, so you won't even need the heating. Oh, and by the way, last time, it's Lucas, not Luke. Hey, Lucas! It's getting too cold here! It's time to open. It's time to get out now! Lucas! Hi, Bella. Oh, uh, hey, Lucas. Mind if I sit down? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Thanks. <sighs> Is there, do you know if anyone's nearby? Uh, I, I don't think so. Well, I think isn't good enough. I'm sorry. I just had to deal with a very stressful situation. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's understandable. I'd actually like to share this stressful situation with you, if that's okay. Okay, yeah, sure. What happened? Well, you see, it's about Mike. Oh yeah, did you guys get the power back on? Well, no. There was an accident. Oh my god. Is he okay? Well, no, because he's actually dead. He's dead? Jesus Christ, why? What, what? Bella, stop. I didn't kill him. I can't deal with this. I, I have to get the others. No, 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 no. There's no need to get the others because they already know. They, they already know? Yes, Bella. They already know. You don't need to go to them because they already know. It's all a misunderstanding. Just sit right here and I'll get them. Oh, just sit here? Yes, Bella. You just sit there and it's going to be okay. Alright, I'm sorry. I thought you killed him, Luke. I don't know what I was. It's going to be fine. I'm going to die. I'm going to kill you. I didn't want to initially. It's going to be fine. I'm going to bury the body. We're going to bury Mike's. So we're going to be good. Just stay quiet. So, did you and Mike ever get the generator working again in Building Two? No. There's trouble with the generator. Mm. So, good news, everybody. Mm. You're talking to us. No, I'm talking to the ghosts. Hey, don't joke about that. Some of us take that stuff seriously. <laughs> okay, hang on. Where are the others? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen them today. It's my uh, husband. Have you seen them? Come on outside. Outside? Yeah, they're collecting samples. Seriously? Bella was supposed to help me with my report today. Oh well. I guess I'll tell, just tell you guys. We're going home tomorrow. Oh, thank God. That is amazing. I can finally go somewhere where they appreciate my cooking. So, McDonald's? Maybe. McDonald's is a quality establishment. You know, only 500 calories in the chicken legend. And, out, and in October, black burgers. That's Burger King. Hey, I never paid you for a fast food fan. I was thinking, maybe we could have a special dinner night to, to celebrate. Hey, yeah, that'll be fun. Lucas, you up for that? Okay. No, no, I've got some business to take care of. 
Uh, okay. You can do it while it, uh, Edie's helping me in the kitchen. We'll call you when it's ready. Okay, fine. This is going to be my last video book because we leave tomorrow. Edie, we have to go. Now. Don't tell me you're pregnant. I'm being serious, let's go. Why? Can you see how serious I am? We have to go. Come on. <laughs> 